Good morning guys. So it's another day in Japan. I still can't believe I'm here. I'm just so excited to be here. This place is so beautiful. The plan for today is, is to just go out and explore, maybe get lost a little bit and just enjoy being in a completely different country with a completely different culture and try to be creative. Today's video is actually sponsored by Skillshare and I thought it was a really good moment to talk about how I got into film, how I got into photography because people are always asking me and the truth is I'm completely self-taught. I learned pretty much all of what I know from trial and error and watching videos online that taught me how to do the things that I wanted to learn how to do. I personally really, really love Skillshare. I watch a lot of their videos. They've taught me a lot. Skillshare is a website that has over 15,000 online classes on topics like film, design, photography, and so much more. It only costs $10 a month to join and you have access to all of that. And Skillshare has actually given me a two month free trial that I can give to you guys so you can check it out at absolutely no charge. Go do a couple of courses and if you learn something from them, which I'm sure you will, you'll probably end up signing up for more classes. I truly believe there's a lot of value in them. So I've left the link in the description box below. Go check it out. Anyway, let's get on with the day because I'm really really excited to get out there and get creative. I'm at the train station and I'm trying to figure out how to get to Harajuku. Now the train lines here are really really confusing. Most of the time you can't just jump on one train and there's a million train stations to choose from. I think I know where I'm going. Thank you. Thank you. But there's probably a pretty high chance that I'm going to get lost. But I want to try this on my own. I want to feel like I can do it. So nothing is written in English. Last station I was at, Things were written in both Japanese and English. This one, everything is in Japanese. So I have no idea which one of these lines says Harajuku, so I'm gonna have to ask somebody. Uh, excuse me, do you know the Harajuku line? Harajuku? Uh, this 160? Uh, uh, and then which? This one is Ah, I got to, I got to. Thank you. That was really nice. Some people just helped me out, and they even got out their translator on their phone, and were really, really helpful. The place I'm in right now is called Takashita Street. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a big strip of marketplaces. From what I can tell, it's very touristy area of Harajuku. Marion Crepes. I've heard this place is really amazing. I think I'm gonna get the 38. That looks really good. Uh, 38. 38, okay. Arigato. So good, so good. I just came into Starbucks and randomly stumbled across this beautiful sky garden that's in the heart of Harajuku, but you really wouldn't know it. It feels so peaceful and tranquil up here that you're hardly even aware of the fact that you're in the middle of an incredibly busy city. And that's something that I really love about Japan. Even though it's a hectically busy city, you're constantly finding these really peaceful little places where you can come and just chill. Down there, that's Harajuku. And that really cool looking building over there, that's right next to Yoyogi Park. This is the most random thing. I'm in a family mart 
and I bumped into one of my very, very good friends, Will, who used to work in retail with me like 10 years ago in Melbourne. Yes. What are you doing in Japan, bro? Holiday. <laughs> that is so random. That was my friend, Will. I haven't seen him in at least five years. He got married, moved to Vietnam. I haven't seen him since. Still talk to him on Facebook, but I had no idea he was over here. So that was a really nice surprise. How's this taking me to this place that he came to last time he was in Japan? It's some kind of laser game. He explained it to me, and pretty much all I can think of is the movie Entrapment. What we have to do is steal a diamond. I just nearly toppled the diamond over. Good job, bro. Trying to figure out how to steal this diamond. And we've noticed that there's a bunch of colors near the lock and there's all these paintings everywhere and we're wondering if these paintings correlate to the directions that you have to press on the lock. Uh, how are we going to do this? Okay. What are we going to do? Just, just what, jump into that? No, 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 like hover to your side. Like this way? Yeah, and like that, over. yeah. Yeah. Okay, you got it. What is this room? There's all this random junk above you. There's a little safe box. So this would matter. Definitely. There's something in here. That game was ridiculously hard. We didn't figure it out and then the guy came and showed us everything we were supposed to do. And I was kind of expecting to have like an ah moment, like a, oh, yeah, we should have done that. that. Yeah. Yeah. There was no ah moment. As he was showing us what we're supposed to do, I was just like, there was no how way could that. anybody figure this out? It was crazy hard. If you've been to that place and you figured it out, I'd love to hear from you in the comments and let me know how long it took you because, There's yeah. no way we've done that in 15 minutes. No way. No way. No way. This morning, I was doing really well. I didn't get lost once. Tonight, whole different story. I got off at the wrong station. Now I'm trying to find where I buy a ticket to get to Shibuya. Um, the weird thing about these stations, or at least this is my understanding of it, is you have to get your tickets from different parts of the station. Uh, that's sort of how Howe explained it to me earlier. And I'm finding it really, really confusing because I'm at a really big and busy train station right now. And I've tried to ask a couple of people for help, but it's not that they didn't want to help me, but they didn't speak any English. And now I'm starting to understand how other people feel when they come to Australia from non-English speaking countries. It's really, really frustrating. Of no fault of anybody else's. Anyway, I'm sure I'll figure it out. A little stressed out right now. Yes. You watch our YouTube oh channel. God. Oh my God! I was just I was just telling. I'm lost. I'm trying to get to Shibuya, and I was just I would love help. I was just telling these guys that I was trying to ask people, and no one could speak English, and I was getting a little bit panicked. And just as I said that, you came along. Thank you so much. That was the strangest thing. I've only been recognised three times since I've been in Japan. And then she recognized me just as I was having a little panic attack and I just needed some help. That was the best luck ever. That was seriously the most packed train I've ever been on in my life. That was intense. We're in the center of Shibuya crossing. This is why I came back here. I wanted to take a time-lapse video at night because this place just looks so epic at night. It's unbelievably cool. It was cool in the day, but at night time it looks incredible. And this is the spot for shooting a time-lapse. I was scouting for a while. I figured out this is the best spot to do it. In the process, I met up with another couple of guys who were doing the exact same thing, shooting time-lapses. 
And the thing with time lapses is they take a while to shoot. So we've just been standing around just talking for ages. So this is Ben, and this is also Ben. Um, ben 1 is from Boston, Ben 2 is from New Zealand. Yeah. Um, and they're both videographers. Ben has a YouTube, what's the name of your YouTube channel? Uh, it's just Ben Mika. Ben M-I-K-H-A. I was, I was just watching some of his travel videos. They are seriously dope. My buddy Ben here is learning to be a drone pilot as well. This is what I love about traveling. You get to meet a lot of really, really interesting people. And I'm about to head home, but it was really great to meet these guys. And I'll leave you guys with the time lapse that I shot. See you.